Ten-week-old baby Lottie is a treasured third daughter. But she'll never get to meet her eldest sister Ruby, who died almost a year ago. Her just never going to know Rubes is just really sad. The six-year-old is remembered by her family and school for her kindness. Ruby lived for just five months after she was diagnosed with DIPG, a type of brain cancer that's always fatal, usually claiming a patient's life within a year. It's scarred our family forever and our little four-year-old Tilly has nightmares and asks if she's going to go to heaven as well. But for the family, today is a great day. The federal government has announced up to $20 million over seven years to fund clinical trials and research to find new treatments. This is an enormous investment in Australia's world-class researchers to give new hope to families who receive the devastating news that their child has developed brain cancer. This announcement is a testament to families affected by this cruel cancer who've pushed for more funding. The government has also secured access to an experimental medication used by some patients with DIPG. Eve Daha was diagnosed with the cancer when she was five and a half. She recently celebrated her eighth birthday, thanks in part to the medication which has cost her family more than $100,000 over three years. Eve is still fighting almost 35 months later thanks to the work of Australian research. So this is just incredible. Happy that like now I feel more safe.